let's make Visual Studio Code work for Mac and Unity. First, make sure that Unity is completely closed. Next, let's install Visual Studio Code for Mac and go through that installation process. The link is in the description. Next, we need to install two different software for Mac. We need to install Mono from the stable channel, not from the Visual Studio channel. That one will not work. You need the stable channel and just go through the installation process. It takes some time. And we also need the .NET SDK for Visual Studio Code. I downloaded the most recent one and that one worked for me. And again, the links for these are in the description. After these are all downloaded, I actually recommend restarting your computer for the changes to completely take effect. That way, if there's any other problems, we can debug it more easily. Now, after that is done, we will open up Unity and we have to change a few settings here. First, let's install the Visual Studio Code package if you don't have it already. So you can go to Window, Package Manager, and then under the Unity Tools, we can search for the Visual Studio Code package and install that. It should come installed by default in the latest Unity versions, so you don't have to worry about that. But make sure it's installed or else it will not work properly. Next, at the top bar, we want to go to Unity, Preferences, and click External Tools. Under the external script editor, we will want to choose the Visual Studio code that we just downloaded. Now, if it doesn't show up there automatically, then you'll want to browse your Mac directory to find where the Visual Studio code application is installed. Usually it will be under the applications folder or maybe even the downloads folder. I also like to click reset argument under the external script editor args and then Click Regenerate Project Files so that the changes are applied to the scripts properly. After that, we'll want to go to Assets, Open C Sharp Project, and this will open our solution within Visual Studio Code. So first, let's install some extensions. The one that we really need is the C Sharp extension from Microsoft. Other great ones to have are Unity Tools, which also comes with the Debugger extension, which it says it's deprecated, but in reality, it still works. I also downloaded Unity Code Snippets, Unity Snippets, C Sharp XML documentation. The snippets basically provide, well, snippets, so you can start to write something and it will autocomplete it for you, which is really useful. The C Sharp XML documentation, if you're on top of a function and you put three slashes, it will automatically transform it into a function comment and comes with some other neat features. And for the theme, I like the Halcyon theme personally. I don't know how to pronounce that properly, but you can also download that by typing in that into the search bar and then click install and it should set the color theme automatically. You can also press command shift P to open up the quick menu and you can change the theme through there by typing in color, clicking preferences color theme and then cycling through the ones and seeing which ones you like best. Okay, so that's all of the packages that we need. Now for the settings, for that at the top bar, we can go to code, preferences, and settings, or press command comma. And for OmniSharp to work, which is what IntelliSense relies on, which helps recognize Unity's code in C Sharp, we want to type in OmniSharp, and then we want to turn off the use modern net setting. And this is required or else it will not work. And then I also set the OmniSharp mono path to the library frameworks mono.framework versions current, which is the path which mono was installed. And some other settings that I like are the disable telemetry settings. So if you type in telemetry and you turn it off, basically the telemetry collects analytics and sends them to Microsoft, which personally, I don't like having analytics collected on my code. I also turn off code lens. So if you type in code lens, and sometimes if you see on top of functions where it says three references, that the function is referenced in three different places, and it becomes a little bloated. So I like to turn that off. I also like to add inlay hints parameters for C sharp so that if I write a function, it will show a hint onto what parameters it accepts, which is very useful. I also like to enable word wrap. So if the line extends past the screen, it will automatically wrap around. And I set that to word wrap column, which is a size in the settings that has been set on how many characters are allowed in one row before wrapping to the next, which you can also change that it's defaulted to 80. And I also set the wrapping indent so that when it wraps around, it indents the next line. 
so that it's easier for me to see that this has been wrapped and that this is not a new line. After those settings, I would personally close out of Visual Studio Code and Unity completely and reopen them again. And this is just to make sure there are no errors because Visual Studio Code can get finicky sometimes. Then once you're in Unity, again, go to Edit Open C Sharp Project. And so ideally now everything should work. At the bottom left, you should see a little fire icon, which is OmniSharp, which is the IntelliSense running. If you click that, it takes you to the output log of OmniSharp and you can see if there are any problems being detected with OmniSharp. It will tell you if there are any errors, if you are missing anything. And so if it's not working, make sure to pay attention to this log and also make sure that you have the correct solution of your project selected. So the SLN file next to the little fire icon should be the one associated with your project. You can click that and select the appropriate one. Make sure it ends with .sln. Well, I hope that helped you because it took me quite a while to get this figured out and working. And if it did, make sure to subscribe and like. And thank you to all my wonderful patrons for their continued support. The link is in the description. So see you next time.